Manchester United have just beaten PAOK 2 0. And by the way, sorry that the lighting's awful. I just can't have the lights on because I feel absolutely awful the last couple of days. That's why I haven't been able to upload. But United have put me in a better mood, though. Um, yeah, important win there. First win in Europe this season and our first win in Europe in a very long time. <coughs> um, I think overall, first half, we were pretty sloppy at times, to be fair. I thought, you know, there were players who just weren't making the right runs. There were players who were holding on to the ball too much. Uh, Ganacho, for example... I thought Diallo was very good in that game, though. Um, I, I thought he's very, very, very solid on the ball, um, holding it well, got himself two goals as well, yeah, and you know, placing the right passes, um, which is very important, of course. Um, I thought he was very good today. I thought he's very good. I thought he's very strong on the ball, took on players, wasn't scared, didn't show any fear. And, you know, he looked like the only player in that game who wasn't too anxious on the ball. There were many players um, who looked anxious to be on the ball or, or or to get the ball. I thought at times Bruno Fernandes rushed his play a bit. He did play in some good balls, though. Um, but, uh, yeah, I thought it was an all, a good performance from Bruno overall, but at times he did rush the play. Um, I thought Ganacho panicked a lot throughout the game. Um, I thought, I mean, thought the midfield was decent. Um, I thought Casemiro Agate did their thing fine, but I mean, obviously, um, they, I mean, you know, they're both very physical guys, both guys getting booked, and you know, obviously, we were going to win the midfield battle today. There was no way we could lose it. Uh, to PAOK, like we, like we couldn't lose the midfield battle today. That would have been pretty embarrassing. Agate and Casemiro did their thing well. Um, <clears throat> I thought um, I, I thought Hoyland was pretty disappointing that game. I feel like he could have done more when he had the ball, but again, he doesn't always get the service that he should get. Though um, Xerxes, when he came on, wasn't on for long at all. But at the end of the day, we all know the issue with Xerxes. He just doesn't do enough. For us, and um, he's shown as quite a bit of a letdown signing so far. Um, Linda Loft and Evans were a bit risky at times, left a bit of a gap at the back, and Lunana had uh, was forced into making like the odd big save. But I mean, you know, our opposition couldn't really shoot, which which we were lucky with today. And you know, we left a bit too much, too many openings uh, in the back for my liking at times. But luckily, Lunana was there. Um, and luckily, PA okay aren't great. Um, Masaroui was good once again, showing his worth. Um, he's never really had a bad game for us so far, to be honest, which is very important. He's our best player at the moment, without a shadow of a doubt. Him and Ahmad, I feel like Ahmad showed today why he needs to be starting in future games. Um, I think we must start him against Leicester, and I feel like Almarim's going to be looking at Diallo. And... I think he's going to be very excited to work with him. I've heard things as well that uh, Almarim's very excited to get work with Diallo, uh, and hopefully he can, <coughs> hopefully he can be a you know a big part of um, of his team. I hope, and I think he will be as well. I think Diallo is going to be very good for this system that uh, that Almarim likes. Um, I think Bruno should suit it well as well. To be fair. But we are getting better performances from him now. He's playing some real good balls today. Helped out with Ahmad uh, Diallo's goal, which is very good to see. Uh, and, yeah, he was able to get in with his head. Good stuff. And, yeah, Diallo was showing, you know, even though he's quite a small guy, he is pretty physical and did battle well to win the ball back to get his second goal. So that's good to see from Diallo. He's very, very good. He's very quick, very skillful. Uses his strength well as well. Um, and that's the important thing. That's the important thing that we get from him. Um, but yeah, I feel like Hoyland could have done more today. I feel like he could have. Uh, Ericsson, when he was on, yeah, did his thing well. Didn't do anything too special, but yeah, uh, was fine when he came on. Uh, Lissandra Martinez came on for, uh, for, for Dallo. Um, what was decent as well, to be fair. But again, we did leave a few, um, did make a few mistakes at the back, though, we did today. Um, but I think overall, that's a very important win for us. We needed a win in Europe. We need to get some momentum. And that's what it's got us. We needed a big three point stake because so far we draw our first three games in Europe. And <coughs> that kind of run 
you know, it, it, it can't really, it couldn't really afford to continue. But luckily, we were able to get the win today. But I mean, overall as well, like we notice there's no really such thing as rude ball or anything like that. It's basically the exact same as, you know, what we do under Ten Hag. It's Alma Rim who's got to come in and make the changes. There are people who want to keep rude, but at the end of the day, I just feel like start over again, just start fresh. I really, I'm not even sure if we need to keep rude in Alma Rim's uh coaching staff. I mean, it's what Amarin feels is best, really, but I, I wouldn't be absolutely distraught if Rude wasn't included in Amarin's um, uh, training staff. Um, I mean, overall, though, I think there's a there's a big work, there's big work in this team that Amarin really does need to deal with. There's a lot that needs to be changed. There's a lot of players that need that need to, you know, get the axe, in my opinion, without a shadow of a doubt, and hopefully Amarin does that. Anyway, speech on a bit. Thanks for watching. Let's go United.